I had such a good night's sleep last night. I had got a solid eight hours. I think the day before that, I got one hour. So, it makes a nice change. And today, I'm gonna to talk about solar roof tiles. Specifically, Tesla solar roof tiles. Because, they are starting to accept pre-orders now. Which is very exciting, and they're basically accepting pre-orders everywhere. But, the first thing I need is coffee. have a look at the problem. Okay, this is my parents' house. They built it, mm, I guess, 15 years ago, something like that. Nice house, I like it. The issue is, there's a fair amount of mm, southeast facing roof space there, and there are no solar panels, no solar generating capacity at all. And the thing is, it's not that they didn't want solar generating capacity, it's primarily that they didn't want the look, they wouldn't have fitted around the windows easily, so they wouldn't have been able to put a lot of capacity on there, even though there's quite a lot of surface area. And of course there's the cost element as well, it costs quite a lot of money. Tesla are basically attacking that problem from a few different angles. Yes, solar panels can be, well they're certainly reasonably expensive. It can be. The price has come down a lot recently, which is fantastic. My parents were putting a roof on anyway. So the Tesla plan is, well, if you're spending this amount of money on roof tiles, if you put in as well the money you're willing to spend on solar panels, then what you wind up with is a solar roof that from ground level will just look, you know, like, like that. Would my parents have gone for it if it had been available when they were roofing their house? Quite possibly. I would certainly have encouraged them strongly in that direction because ultimately the house would look just as it does there. Their electricity bill would come down so over time the roof would pay for itself slowly but surely. The Tesla tiles come with a very nice warranty. Basically they warranty the tiles for you know the lifetime of the house or forever depending on how long your house is likely to last. And they give you a power warranty, which is 30 years, and a weatherization warranty of 30 years as well. So you can expect these things to last a good length of time. And bearing in mind, I think people on average get their roofs replaced every 25 years. So when that renewal cycle comes up, that is the opportunity that Tesla is hoping to exploit. You see, the thing is, Tesla doesn't just want to change the way people use electricity and energy through their electric cars. They also want to change the way that that energy is generated in the first place. Don't normally agree with square pizzas, but this pizza tastes amazing. Oh. Have you said goodbye to Gigi and Grandpa? Yeah. Oh, come say goodbye to Gigi and Grandpa. All right. Bye-bye, Gigi and Grandpa. Got the footage for my dad's next episode, so a nice little job for the weekend. Unfortunately, there's no word from Tesla yet as to exactly how much these solar roof tiles are gonna cost, other than they should cost less or the same as replacing your roof and getting solar panels, which sounds like quite a lot to me, but I guess getting your roof replaced costs a fair, fair amount anyway. Right, we're heading home now. Oh, my word. I spent a lot of time in the car the last few days. Oh, right, and then we get to relax for the weekend. Yay! Come here, Dust Bob. You a bit sleepy peepee? Yeah, Mum. Oh, dear me. Here you go. Hello. Hello. Just before I go in, see all that massive amount of roof space and no solar panels anywhere. If I had my way, that would be a crime. And you know what? I think in the future, people are going to look at 
houses that don't generate their own power on the roofs is just totally and utterly ridiculously stupid. I think where Tesla comes in with their solar roof tiles is, I think that's the starting point. They've got disadvantages at the moment. Don't generate power as efficiently as a standard panel. They potentially waste space, you know, not all the tiles generate solar. I think what will happen is, as the price of these things comes down and the efficiency goes up, as hopefully it will over time, what you'll have is basically a situation where all roof tiles are solar and they you know you need a sort of a smart connection system so that you know the wiring is manageable and installation costs not too much but I'm pretty sure that that's where it's going to go and I think all houses are going to have their own battery power storage as well and with all of that combined it should be possible to substantially reduce the amount of energy that needs to come from power stations. But I am very keen to actually get some proper details from Tesla at some point, because at the moment there's basically no details and they don't even offer all of the uh, roof tiles that one would want. I mean, for example, those, those roof tiles over there, the sort of Tuscan style ones, they don't do those yet. They're coming in by the end of the year, I think, and they're going to do some sort of French slate type ones as well. So there's going to be some choice in the style, but there's still an awful lot of way to go. If it starts becoming a common thing, then the economies of scale will kick in and the R&D dollars will flow. I think then it's actually going to be a, a very substantial part of the energy mix for most countries, because let's face it, most countries have got huge, I was going to say acres, but the reality is it's probably thousands of square miles worth of totally unused potential solar panel real estate just sitting on top of everyone's homes. Better unload the car now, I think. Yeah. Right. Here's Jazzy's bag. There we go. Oh, very good. <sighs> Fantastic. Well, I think it's time for me to go do a bit of the old family time. Before I do that, I'd just like to say, when we get our roof changed, I am definitely, definitely going down the Tesla solar roof tiles, like roofs. I'll tell you something that I do really quite like about the whole Tesla approach to all of this, and I think this is something that will help make it doable for a lot more people. It, you just have one company to deal with. They can do the solar roof, they can do the battery storage, and you can get your car from them as well, and the whole lot can all work together. I mean, I would imagine down the line, Tesla will find a way to integrate the energy storage in the car with the house where, where that's necessary and where you don't need the power in the vehicle. I mean, I, it, it seems crazy not to do that, unless, of course, the house power storage becomes so cheap that you can have more than enough. And that's one of the other nice things with Tesla, is because you've got their Tesla showroom stores in various different shopping malls and shopping centers, as we call them around here, what you find is it's actually quite a bit more accessible for average people that might not have thought about it in the past. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of these products power wall, solar tiles, etc. in the Tesla stores, hopefully in the near future, because I want to see what, what it feels like, what it looks like. It's designed in such a way, I think it's, they call them micro louvers. Basically, it's a little bit like one of those, you know those cards you buy where you kind of look at the image from a different angle and you see different images and it kind of makes it look like it's moving. I think they work a bit like that, so that when you're above looking down, you see the panel, and when you're below looking up, you see tile, very clever. What Tesla tends to do better than anyone else when it comes to this sort of thing is integrate. Integrate the products, integrate the sales and customer experience so that what you wind up with is a really smooth delivery with great customer service. And if they can supply that with the solar roof and battery pack and all the rest of it, then as soon as our roof needs replacing, I'm going to put Tesla solar roof tiles up there. Pretty much 
guaranteed. Because over time, it will be the cheapest way to roof your house. I think the reality is that the Tesla brand is so strong and the integration, the horizontal integration of these products makes so much sense that it's much more likely to be successful when it's being pushed by Tesla and, and their brand. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. <laughs>